ஜடுதாஸ் தினகரன் ஒர்க்கிங் ஆஸ் அ ஃபிசிக்ஸ் டீச்சர் இன் மெட்ராஸ் கிறிஸ்டன் காலேஜ் ஹையர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சென்னை திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி அபவுட் த ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோமீட்டர் ஸோ யுவர் ஃபிஃப்த் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் இன் டுவெல்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ப்ராக்டிக்கல்ஸ் யூஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த வேவ் லென்த் ஆஃப் த கன்ஸ்டியூன் கலர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ காம்போசிட் லைட் யூசிங் டைஃப்ராக்ஷன் கிரேட்டிங் அண்ட் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோமீட்டர் டு ஸ்டார்ட் வித் we are going to see the various uh, components of this spectrometer or we see various parts of the spectrometer so the various parts of the spectrometer are your telescope your collimator and your grating table we have the slit in the collimator it has to be narrowly for adjusted vertically it should be very thin the base of the spectrometer has to be adjusted with the help of this leveling screws and we have the eye piece eye piece the cross wire has to be adjusted so in order to do the initial adjustment i am going to focus the telescope to a distant object in order to get a clear image so focus it to on this an object so that you are getting a clear image and then bring in contact with that of your collimator and adjust the width of the collimator to be a narrow one it should be in a thin and it should be vertical and thirdly the grating table i am going to have a split level and adjusting the three screws so that you can able to see the prism table or in the same level so these are the initial adjustments we have to make before doing this experiment next one the slit of the collimator it has to be a narrow slit and it should be a vertical one you need to use this grating element so fix the grating element on the grating table now i am going to take the the straight reading that is we have to see the image of the light i am using a mercury vapor lamp so the light from the mercury vapor lamp has to pass through the slit and the collimator and through the grating element through the telescope we are able to see with the help of the eyepiece so this time you have to make the reading in your uh, verniers as 0 and 180 0 and 180 So now you have to make it a point you have to fix the vernier i am going to take the left hand side of the spectrometer as vernier a and the right hand side as vernier b so don't change it till you complete your experiment so this is vernier a and my right hand side is vernier b vernier a reads 00 vernier v is 180 degree to so start with the experiment i am going to move the telescope to my left and focus towards the colors i'll get all the seven colors of gr so i am going to focus to that of your blue so i am able to get a blue line i am able to get a blue line so make the cross wire to fall in to that of the blue line 
now i have kept uh, this as vernier a and my right hand side as vernier b so take the vernier a reading first see where the zero of the vernier scale coincides with the main scale for me the zero of the main vernier scale coincides on the main scale at a value of 347 degrees so you are getting a value of 347 degree and same time find out what it is what is any one of the division which of the division which is coinciding with that of your main scale so find out the division in your vernier scale so for me it's the ninth division so i'm getting the value of vernier coincidence 9 09 so record it as main scale reading is 347 degrees and vernier coincidence 09 minutes and go with the vernier b reading see where the zero of the vernier in your vernier b coincides with the main scale so for me it is 167 degrees so record the reading as 167 degree and measure the vernier vernier scale coincidence so vernier scale coincidence is 11 it's 11 so 167 degree and the vernier coincidence 11 minute so we have taken for blue we have finished uh, for blue now we are going to take for the next color that is green so focus your telescope towards green and when your cross wire coincides with that of the green you can stop there you can able to see the green in your telescope the cross wire is coinciding with the green color line so find out the vernier a reading so where the zero of the main zero of the vernier stands on the main scale for me it is 343 degrees 343 degrees and same time find out which of the line in your vernier scale coincides with the main scale for me it is again 9 so i have taken as vernier scale reading as 9 minutes similarly record the reading in your vernier b find out where the zero of the vernier stands on the main scale for me it is 163 163 degrees and the vernier scale coincides again it is 9 the ninth division of the vernier scale coincides with the main scale so the vernier scale reading is 9 similarly you can move to the other colors keep moving towards your left so that i'll get the yellow line so we'll get two yellow lines close to each other the you take the first one we are taking the first order spectrum similarly you take the reading on your vernier a as well as vernier b the main scale reading as well as vernier scale reading and then move again towards your left you will be getting your red red color focus your telescope towards your red line and then take your vernier a as well as vernier b reading as usual so now we have completed your left hand side similarly you have to take for your right hand side so for that i am going to move the telescope towards my right and focusing towards the blue color so once you keep it on the blue color now go for the reading so now you have uh, taken the reading of blue color on your right hand side so similarly you move again towards your right you will be getting the second color as green so once you get the green color you we'll stop there make the cross wire to coincides with the green color this is for your right hand side green color similarly i'll adjust to that of your yellow 
and find out the reading of yellow then again move towards the right get the color of red so repeat the reading vernier a as well as vernier b take first the main scale reading and vernier coincidence similarly for uh, vernier b also take the main scale reading and vernier coincidence now we have recorded the reading now we are going to do the calculation over to mr james edward for calculation now all the readings are tabulated you have to go for the calculation part now now actually the order order n equal to 1 and n will be the number of lines per meter length that will be 6 into 10 power 5 lines per meter first you have to do the calculation for blue color you have to do the calculation for blue color from the tabula column first we get to find out for the vernier a so vernier a in vernier a you have to take the right hand side first take the right hand side so right should be equal to actually you have to add 360 degree because it will come for one complete rotation 360 plus you have to add with 12 degree 0 night minute if you are adding that number, you are getting 372 degree 09 minutes. In the same way, left side will be, that should be equal to, the reading will be 347 degree, 347 degree 09 minutes. You can subtract, so 0, 0 minutes. 12 minus 7, 5, then 6 minus 4, 2, so 25 degree, 0 minutes. 25 degree, 0 minute, that is 2 theta. So that is 2 theta, therefore 2 theta equal to 25 degree, 0 minutes. The same way you have to find out for vernier B also. You have to find out for vernier B. When you be first right right hand side, right hand side, the value will be 192 degree, 192 degree, 11 minutes, left hand side, left hand side value will be 167 degree, 11 minutes. We are separating 11 minus 11, 0 minutes. Again, this will be 25 degree. So, 25 degree. This is also 2 theta only. Therefore, 2 theta equal to 25 degree, 0 minutes. You have to find out mean 2 theta. Therefore, mean 2 theta should be equal to first take vernier A, that will be 25 degree. 25 degree. 0, 0 minutes plus sign again for vernier b that also 25 degree 0 mi minutes by 2 so you will get the same answer only 25 degree 0 minutes so this is 2 theta from this value you can find out theta therefore theta should be equal to 25 degree 0, 0 minute by 2 that should be equal to so reduce 1 degree here 24 degree, so 1 degree should be equal to 60 minutes. So 60 minutes by 2, 24 degree means you can write as 12 degree, 60 minutes will be 30 minutes. You have to divide 24 degree, 60 minutes by 2, that should be equal to 12 degree and 30 minutes. So this is the value of theta now. Now we get substitute in the original formula that will be lambda b equal to sin theta b by small n capital n so that should be equal to sin this is the value of theta b theta b therefore theta b should be equal to 12 degree 30 minutes 
ट्वेल्व डिग्री थर्टी मिनिट्स बै एन वैल्यू रईटिंग फर्स्ट वन इन कैपिटल एन विल बी सिक्स इन टेन पवर फाइव सो दट शुड बी ईक्वल टू राइट साइन डिग्री साइन ट्वेलव डिग्री थर्टी मिनिट्स विल बी यू हेड टू फंड फ्रम दि कैलकुलेटर द आंसर विल बी जीरो पॉइंट टू वन सिक्स फोर जीरो पॉइंट टू वन सिक्स फोर दिस टेन पर फाइव विल गो टू न्यूमरेटर टेन पर माइनस फाइव डिवेड बै सिक्स दट शुड बी ईक्वल टू यू हेड टू डिवेड जीरो पॉइंट टू वन सिक्स फोर डिवेड बै सिक्स यू आर गेटिंग द वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन इन टू टेन पवर माइनस फाइव इन टू टेन पवर माइनस फाइव सो दिस शुड बी ईक्वल टू यू हेड टू कीप द पॉइंट आफ्टर फाइव नंबर्स थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन इन टू टेन पवर माइनस टेन मीटर्स सो थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन इन टू टेन पवर माइनस टेन मीटर सो दिस इज द वेव लैंड फॉर ब्लू कलर यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग द वेव लैंड फॉर ब्लू कलर द सेम वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट द वेव लैंड फॉर ग्रीन कलर देन येलो कलर एस वेल एस रेड कलर आलसो अट लास्ट यू राइट द रिजल्ट द रिजल्ट विल बी फर्स्ट वन द वेव लैंड ऑफ द ब्लू लाइन विल बी यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन माइनस टेन मीटर इन द सेम वे यू हेड कैलकुलेट फॉर ग्रीन लाइन येलो लाइन एस वेल एस रेड लाइन आलसो फॉर ग्रीन लाइन यू आर गेटिंग द आंसर विल बी इन टेन पवर माइनस टेन मीटर्स नव द वेव लेंथ ऑफ येलो लाइन विल बी फाइव जीरो वन सेवन इन टेन पवर माइनस टेन मीटर्स एंड लास्ट वन द वेव लेंथ ऑफ रेड लाइन विल बी फाइव फोर थ्री फाइव इन टेन पवर माइनस टेन मीटर्स सो लाइक दैट यू कैन फाइंड आउट आल दि वेव लेंथ ऑफ डिफरेंट कलर्स ग्रेटिंग you have to keep on practicing taking reading as less well you have to practice even the calculation also wish you all the best thank you